So, a new weapon has been added to Splatoon 2 today, which is, of course, the Octobrush Nuevia. Um, the Octobrush Nuevia is the same as the Octobrush, but with a different set and a little bit of a different look. Now, I know what people are thinking. That's two weapons in one week. We've had the Undercover Brella, and now we've got the Octobrush Nuevia. It's not really the case. We are getting uh, one weapon a week still. It's just that there's a little tradition as to why the Octobrush Nuevia is being released on the on the 1st and 2nd of January. And it's because of a um, Japanese and Chinese tradition called Kakizome. Um, in Kakizome, uh, in China and Japan, people um, get big scripts, like big banners of paper, and they use brushes to paint symbolic words on the paper. It's a little like New Year's resolution, but more fun. And um, the Octobrush represents those brushes, so it's being released today uh, and tomorrow. Well, no, sorry, today and yesterday, depending on where you are in the world. Um, it comes with the beacons and the tenter missiles. So you know how the Octobrush has to get really close into people's faces and smash them to death with the brush? Well, now the beacons will help you get into enemy territory quicker. And I know in Splatoon 1, um, the Octobrush had the beacons. And people loved it. It was like the best set ever. And it also had a Kraken. But because the Kraken's gone, um, it's actually Tenter Missiles. But the Tenter Missiles give the, um, the weapon more range now. So it's a really good set. So Octobrush mains like me will be really pleased with this. And the Octobrush did re the Octobrush Noevia released in Splatoon 1 on New Year's as well to fit the Kakizome tradition. So it's available to buy right now in the Ammo Knights shop. So go test it out. And until the next video, goodbye.